everything that we trained the past 10 weeks, 12 weeks, everything we trained for went the way we couldn't ask for better performance out of the way everything went. Um, everything that I, I've been training for, that's everything that he threw and everything that was getting set up for me. So we did, uh, we did the best we could and it worked out for us. What was the difference between this championship fight and that last one? My last one? Uh, I got the belt. It's the only difference. Last one, this one I opened up a lot more too in my striking and, and that opened up my takedowns and my ground and pound. So I, I would say the striking, opening up on my striking and moving and, and just being first instead of waiting to counter. So what did you do to prepare for this fight? You had all that reach, it didn't seem to affect you at all, especially when you landed that first order, the top left hand. How did you prepare for all this? I worked a lot with Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is one of the best boxers in the 155 pound division in the UFC. And uh, he spars with pro boxers and he does well with pro boxers. And he's a long southpaw and I worked with him and he's super fast, super powerful. And I knew that if I could if I could do well with Nate, that I'd be able to go in there and do what I want here. Uh, has Ray talked to you about who's maybe up next? No, the only thing next is for me to uh, enjoy the holidays and help the guys on my team who are fighting on the January 3rd UFC card. I'd like to say thanks to all my friends, family, sponsors, my team, Team Alpha Male, and uh, everybody that's helped me get this far. It didn't start when I moved to Sacramento. It started back in uh, when I was nine years old, the first time I stepped on a wrestling mat. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks.